My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, as a point of departure for our reflection, I'm reminded of a particular experience that happened several years ago while I was still studying in Spain. I remember living in a residence for priests from different countries. And since we take turn in celebrating the Holy Mass, I, at that very moment, during that day, I was like the server. I was concelebrating, but at the same time, I was serving during the Mass. And then the presider was an Indian priest. So during offertory, I started to bring the chalice, the bread, and the wine. And I was surprised, kay gibyaan ni ang altar, unya ni lakaw siya padulong sa usakapiyo. I was surprised because obviously, kami kamera man, wak may murag mo offer pag yun, no? Kay di man to parokya. And I noticed how he approached my fellow priest. Nang ay siya og sorry, and iyang gi-embrace ang maong iyan. Then he came back to the altar, celebrating or presiding over the Mass. I'm sharing this experience with you because I find it very remarkable. And it is simply a way of concretizing our Gospel reading today. That when we offer something to the Lord, hopefully our hearts are free from resentments, free from the feeling of anger, hatred, or any negative feeling against another person. And that is always crucial, my dear friends, because when we worship God, when we offer something, when we bring our offerings to the altar, we don't simply comply with a particular norm. We don't just celebrate a mere rite. We are encountering God. And the God who created us and the God who is the object of our worship sees the heart of every human being. And so it's not enough that we say, Ako na ninggihalad o na ako'y butang na mabutang sa altar. God is more pleased when He notices or sees how we try to live out the gospel values proclaimed to us by Jesus. My dear friends, let us remember that each one of us bear the image of God deep within us. And so when we do something good towards other people, when we choose to be kind, when we choose to forgive, when we choose to be generous to other people, when we choose to be merciful, we become true to that identity in Christ. We become true to that image that God has placed deep within our, heart, our hearts. It is imprinted deep within us. That is why dili malipayo ng tao nga magsigig kasuko, batok sa ingisig ka tao. Dili gawas nun ang tao nga magsigda o kaligot-got o kasuya sa ingisig ka tao because that is not our nature. And so this gospel reading beautifully reminds us of the essence of worship, which is to encounter God, who is a God of love, a God of mercy, a God of justice, a God of goodness. And we are also reminded that whenever we offer something to God, whenever we worship Him, we have to also examine the quality of our relationship with others. Because when we say we love God, we are duty-bound to love the people around us as well. May the Blessed Virgin Mary, our Mother, intercede for us. Amen.